Am I the asshole for refusing to help roommate's girlfriend feel less triggered over my diet? I am 27F. I see a doctor, nutritionists, and psychiatrist. I live mostly off of smoothies and really soft foods, but am monitoring it and have been told I'm healthy. And I feel great. I get really sick with solid, heavy foods. My roommate is dating a woman we'll call Rita. Rita is overweight and always following people into the kitchen. Usually just stares at them. Every time she sees me making a smoothie she rolls her eyes and leaves. Today I'm making a smoothie and some applesauce and she commented how I'm starving myself. I tell her nope I'm good and that she's not my doctor she then informed me that she's gained 20 pounds because I'm triggering her emotional eating and how she feels so upset that I'm anorexic, I'm far from it, and it's affecting her anxiety too. I told her I'm sorry she's upset but that it's not my fault and she can stop following me into the kitchen and should try to get support, not hassle me. She started crying my roommate says I should apologize and I've told them no. It's not my fault she's eating more and that she doesn't live here and I refuse force my diet to change when she is here. They're saying I'm an asshole and I'm being unreasonable and fat shaming but I think she just has very little self-control. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. She has some issues she needs to deal with. An easy solution for her would be to not follow you into the kitchen and watch you eat if it makes her feel triggered. It's not reasonable for her to expect you to change your diet because it makes her feel insecure. Your friends are only siding with her to avoid her emotional reactions which is also unfair and unreasonable. Edit, thank you for the helpful, hug and silver awards. That's so sweet of you. Not the asshole. Why is she, a houseguest, following you into the kitchen and watching what you eat? That's creepy and obsessive. Not your fault she is choosing to eat more and refuses to seek help for her own emotional, eating disorders. Not the asshole. It is not your responsibility to manage Rita's mental health. If Rita is feeling triggered, then she needs to work with her mental health providers to learn coping mechanisms that do not involve controlling the behavior of others. And she should stop following you into the kitchen. Not the asshole fat shaming is ridiculing someone for being overweight. Not existing and eating in a way an overweight person doesn't like. She's not the boss of you. How someone unconnected with her eats in a place she doesn't live is none of her business. Don't discard your doctor's orders to appease someone who has no right to make pointless demands. Not the asshole. She's not even your guest. It's creepy she's following and watching you. She needs to GTFO if she can't one. Stop being creepy and two. Stop trying to control you. She and your roommates are huge, pun intended, assholes. Why would you think that you sharing direct info from your nutritionist makes you the asshole in this scenario? Op replied, not the asshole 100%. Rita is overweight and always following people into the kitchen. Usually just stares at them. A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A sorry but I just can't help myself imagining her standing in the kitchen like the Mike Wazowski meme, and staring, judging people for their food choices. Not the asshole whatsoever, she has huge issues and rather than dealing with them, she wants those around her to help her not deal with her issues. She then informed me that she's gained 20 pounds because I'm triggering her emotional eating. So basically she was looking for a scapegoat to blame her weight gain on, because it could not possibly have been her own doing. Not the asshole, unless you were literally holding a gun to her head and forcing her to eat, there is no way you are responsible for her weight. Not the asshole. Is Rita a dog? Following people into the kitchen is weird as fuck on its own. Commenting about your diet takes it to being rude. Do you honestly believe that you might be in the wrong in this situation? Or are you just posting to validate yourself with positive responses? This feels like one of those fake stories redditors use to make fat people look bad and making anyone calling out fat shaming look bad too, especially since this is a throwaway account just for this post, but if this is real, she is the asshole, not op. R, that happened. Not the asshole. Some of these people in these posts are so totally bonkers. How many, fat person is offended by skinny person's diet? Posts are we going to have this week? This is such obvious bait at this point. Not the asshole. Unfortunately, it sounds like this person has an unhealthy relationship with food and she is projecting that onto you. Hopefully she will take ownership of her triggers and seek the help she needs that'll allow her to cope with them. A lot of my calories are liquid as well. 
I work retail and we are allowed to have drinks on the floor, but rarely get to eat at the time we would prefer. So it is much easier to just get a smoothie on my break from the fridge and just take it onto the floor with me. Not the asshole. Rita is weird. Not the asshole why does she think she can insult you, by jumping to conclusions and calling you anorexic just because you are thin and have certain eating habits, and then blame you for her problems? That's ridiculous. Also that's fucking weird why does she follow you into the kitchen? That's just creepy. Sorts by controversial. Not the asshole. Tell her to get the hell out of your house if Shush has got such a problem with how you live in your house. Lady has no right. Not the asshole. I have an ed and would never police someone's diet like this. Part of therapy and recovery is learning to manage your own triggers. This is just a ridiculous situation and I am sorry you have to deal with it. Fat shaming? How about she is skinny shaming? Yes this is a thing, my partner has had to deal with it their whole life. Oh you're so skinny, you should eat something. The response they always wanted to say back to that kind of crap was, you're so fat, you should stop eating, but that would be rude. She doesn't know if you did have some sort of mental, physical or even genetic reason for eating the way you do? Or being a thinner person. So not the asshole. Rita as and so are your roommates. Not the asshole I think she is probably feeling self-conscious. Not the asshole Rita is responsible for her actions. She has no right to blame you for her actions or her triggers. If she's that bothered by what you're eating she needs to change her behavior not you change yours to suit her needs. Even if she did live there you still wouldn't be an asshole. I am getting more and more convinced that 99% of these stories are fake. Or is humankind really like this? Not the asshole. Sounds like she's just jealous of you. Not the asshole her eating disorder is in no way your issue to solve for her. She needs therapy, not everyone bending to her frankly bizarre wishes. You are following your doctor's orders as you should. I feel like this is either not a true story or we're not getting the entirety of the situation. It's too bizarre and normal people don't act like that. If Rita is commenting on your doctor-guided diet then she's an asshole. But if there's more to the story here that you're not telling, you're the asshole. I'm just going to go with Ash. Not the asshole. It's not your job to cater to her just because she's extremely insecure. She clearly has some issues that she needs to sort through but you doing what is best for you and not bending over for her bullshit is not one of them. Not the asshole you shouldn't have to change your doctor supervised eating plan for someone who doesn't live there and stalks you in the kitchen. LMAO. Not the asshole. This is the result of body positivity. If you encourage obesity this is the result. Not going to comment on the roommates. Not the asshole. As a person with an eating disorder only I am responsible for managing my triggers. As a person with medically odd diet. You're nourished. That's awesome. I am sorry you also have pain issues but she's responsible for her triggers. She is using you as an excuse. Also you're actually eating. I eat smoothies because they're food. Applesauce is also food. It is that simple. Feel free to tell her this. If you're triggered by my food prep then don't watch. Or, my doctor and I discuss my diet. Perhaps you should discuss your eating disorder with yours. Info. Curious to understand what she actually asked you to change. I'm so confused. Not the asshole either way. Just curious. To cut it short, she has no self-control and for some reason your eating triggers her. Doesn't even make sense. Just do you and find a new place to live. You're being responsible with your diet. Don't even really understand what it has to do with her. Eating is something we all need to do. She basically answered her own question her anxiety leads her to eat, so start with a therapist and open with that. Not the asshole she sounds kinda creepy tbh watching you make food. But in all seriousness it's not your fault that she's emotional eating and has anxiety. You've been to a doctor and you are doing what's right for you. She needs to see a therapist if your diet is, triggering, her weight gain. But she probably won't do that since she's just looking for excuses for her lack of control. Until a therapist says she has a real problem then it's her responsibility to avoid her, triggers, not yours. Not the asshole. Not the asshole everything you said was on point. Not the asshole what are you even supposed to apologize for? For eating the way you want in your own home? She is the one with the issue. 
she cannot expect others, especially in their homes to bend over backwards for her needs. If she can't stand the sight of you eating, Dutch she should stop following you into the kitchen and watching you like a stalker. You weren't making any comments about her, literally just living your life in your own home. Clear not the asshole. Not the asshole. However, if you don't already, do see a dentist to make sure your teeth are not suffering from the lack of chewing on solid food. Not the asshole. That excuse is one of the lamest. I doubt it's because she's concerned about you being anorexic. It's more likely that she wants to look like you and yet knows she probably couldn't eat like you do, so she emotionally eats whatever she can because she feels like she's failed. That's not on you. That's all her and she has issues to work on. How dare her try to turn that around on you causing her to make poor choices. Not the asshole. Rita needs to go home and her boyfriend can visit her there. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Bitch. If you don't like watching me eat, then don't fucking watch me eat. You can apologize if you want but you don't have the problem, she does. Your apology, for what by the way, isn't going to change anything. You are not in a relationship with this woman, she's not even your guest. You are working on your health issues with a medical team and that's the only thing you are responsible for. Apparently Rita should too but she doesn't want to hear that. You are not the asshole, and your diet is none of her business. You are accused of fat shaming her but what if you did have an eating disorder? She is commenting on your diet and body which she shouldn't be doing if she thinks you have an eating disorder. Not the asshole I'm a fat person. She has an eating disorder and she needs to get help fast. Not the asshole. Why doesn't he visit her so she doesn't have to come to your home? Not the asshole for all the already mentioned reasons. Just a question. Doesn't she have a place of her own where your roommate could be the guest, for a change? Ah, minding your own business creating a healthy diet. GF, stocks you minding your own business making a meal that's not five bacon burgers and gets triggered. Not the asshole. Not the asshole it's your house and she's just trying to make excuses for herself. She doesn't need to be there or watch you eat. WTF did I even just read law? I'm pretty sure this have been posted before. Not the asshole though. 